Behind me is the Delaware River. Y'all can see the Ben Franklin Bridge. Now I can see why, you know, different artists want to do work here. I can definitely understand that. It's beautiful. Sergio, you're chasing a story about Pier 124, which used to be a real hub of commerce in Philadelphia. Now, um, pretty much abandoned, but it's a graffiti park. Graffiti Pier, uh, formerly known as Pier 124, which is owned by Conrail. They shut down in 1991, which is 24 years ago. They actually used to be a place where they used to um, pretty much pack up coal and send it for shipping. I met up with two local artists, Carlton Murph and James Winborn, who has done work at Graffiti Pier. I like the, the atmosphere and, and the art. I mean, if you are any kind of artist, um, then you know about Graffiti Pier, and you've been here, and this is a great place to do your work. If you, if you pin around a corner, you'll see the skyline of Philadelphia. It's, it's, it's a great scenery for someone that does videography or photography. Making my way to the other side of the pier, I saw, some, I saw hikers. I saw people walking their dogs. Okay. I actually met up with a couple guys who were shooting a music video there, which is perfect timing for me. I feel right at home doing hip hop videos right here. Like this is the epitome of hip hop videos right here. It's a nice, like great scene. Now this is actually one of 25,000 vacant properties in Philadelphia. Uh, Ashley, you were talking about how dangerous it is. My opinion is, why can't we just embrace this? Have the streets department come in, put some railings up so kids can't fall in the water. Looking at the pictures, this place is beautiful. The positive is that you've got somebody making use of it, graffiti, music videos. The negative is there's nobody patrolling it, it sounds like. It's out there in the middle of nowhere. If it was a little more regulated, it w I don't think it'd be happening. You have crimes happening all over the place, even places that are regulated. So. And this also reminds me of Bethlehem Steel. Bethlehem Steel was thriving for years, and yeah. now it's abandoned, but they're using it for different movies and events. They've turned it into a public setting. If the city decides to you know, make this place off limits, shut it down, whatever they want to do, then in my opinion, they're just going to make these guys go somewhere else. So then they're going to tag that place or whatever you want to call it. Just let me know what you guys think. Should the city make it off limits to these artists or should they just let them be free? But make sure you are tweet me at Chasing Sergio.